the viewers welcome to my facebook page this is a presenter mr mlenga so i want us to look at 2023 mathematics paper one for gce candidates so i'm just going to focus on uh, uh two questions question a and b so question a simplify uh two then in brackets we have x plus three minus three in brackets we have four x minus two so in order for us to be able to simplify this question, we need first to, to write the question the way it is. So you write 2 in brackets, we have x plus 3 minus 3, then 4x minus 2. So when they say simplify, they are asking you to write uh, this expression in the simplest form. So step 1, open the brackets. So the way we are going to open the brackets. So here you have a 2. So these 2 multiply all the terms inside the brackets. Minus. Again, this 3 multiply all the terms inside the brackets. So we are going to get something like this. To we'll say 2 times x. This is 2x plus 2 times 3 is 6. Then negative 3 times 4x. This would be, uh, give us negative 12x. Then negative times negative. Positive. 3 times 2 is 6. Now from there, you can correct the right terms. So the right terms are the ones that have um, the variable x. So you can see 2x and a minus 12x, these are the right terms. So we correct them, we write 2x. So we will pick with it the sign negative 12x, then plus 6 plus 6. So for this 6 and this 6, they are also like terms because they don't have any variable. Now from there, we can just simplify where we write 2x minus 12x, uh, a smaller number subtracting a bigger number, 2x minus 12x, this will give us negative 10x, then plus 6 plus 6, this will give us a 12. So this is your answer, or you can write it like this, 12 minus 10x. So we have simplified, okay? So let us now look at the second question. All right, so we now come to our question B right here. Factorize completely. So how can we factorize this expression? So uh, to factorize an expression like this, you need to take note of the common numbers. So we have a 3 right here. We have a 27. Then in terms of the variables, we only have x. Here there is no variable. So since we have a 3 and a 27, Find or look for the highest common factor of 3 and 27. In this case, it's a what? A 3. So you factor out 3. So when you factor out 3, you write open bracket. So we start now dividing. So you say 3x squared divided by the 3 that we factored out. So this will cancel. You are going to remain with x squared. Okay. Minus then 27 divided by the 3, which is the 3, 1, 3 into 27, 9. So here you write a 9. Such that when you expand 3 times x squared, you get 3x squared. Minus, minus, 3 times 9, you get 27. So that doesn't mean that it's our final answer. Look in brackets, you have x squared minus a 9. This is what you call a difference of two squares. x squared minus, this 9 is a perfect square number, of which we understand that if we write something like this, 3 squared is the same as what? 9. So that is what you are going to write here. You write 3, open bracket, x squared minus 3 squared. Like this. So the moment you write like that, simply means that you it's just the same with writing a 9. Now, here I've got the difference of 2 squares. 2 squares and difference subtraction. Okay. So what you do is, we're going to do this. So when you have a difference of two squares, okay, we are going to write this three, which is right here. Okay, then you will say open square bracket. So since this is a difference of two squares, I'll get x minus three. I cross again, open bracket, x plus three. I cross then we square brackets. This is our answer. We have factorized it completely. So what has happened here is that since we had 
2x is x squared minus 3 squared. So x will get 1x minus 3. Then we have gotten 1x from here, meaning that we have remained with a single x. Minus, we have used the minus. So in the second brackets, use a positive. Then you write 1 through that was remaining there. And this is your answer. So thank you so much, everybody. Come to the end of our lesson. This has been your presenter, Mr. Mlenga. Bye-bye.